This time I've made a sun catcher that blossoms for my beaded hummingbirds. Hi, this is Tweak. My hummingbirds needed some blossoms, so let's make some. We begin with beads, my favorite thing. I made these little hummingbirds and I, I'll show you quick that here's my prototype. <laughs> Uh, a little bit rough and then I made really big birds and you can refer to these because we do have a video on how to make the hummingbirds and then it came to the littler ones which are really fancy but I want him to be a sun catcher and I want to make the blossoms what I did was I picked up one of these spheres these are stainless steel spheres I went with the 20 millimeter because a 30, even though it would give me a bigger blossom, it was um, very hard. It's just a little bit thicker and I can't string the beads onto it as well. So I went with the 20 inch. I'm going to start with one sphere. Let me go. So I'm taking the sphere and I'm going to hook my tool in. Okay. And I've got a very tight grip on the bottom and I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit. Not a lot. I don't necessarily want a sphere as much as I want a cup, like a blossom. Put a little more. Okay, now that I've got that done, I'm going to count in, get a good pair of cutters, and I'm going to count in four circles, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to give it a snip. takes this much off the sphere and it leaves me my little cup that I need to create my blossom. Next comes what color blossom would you like? I know hummingbirds are attracted to a wide variety of colors and I've made a yellow one, I've made a red one, I've got all my beads laid out. I think I'm going to go with this turquoise blue and I'm going to dump some of them out because what I want is I'm going with two, four, six millimeter beads. If you get anything much bigger, they're not gonna wind very well onto the, the coil here. So I'm gonna go with, it looks like these are eight millimeter, six millimeter beads. And see, they very nicely and easily, we just start winding them onto the coil. So I'm gonna wind them on as far as I can right up to the top and as it gets tight there I won't be able to go all the way but that's okay I just wind them as I go see so let's do that we're gonna wind this up with our beads this much wire left. I'm looking at the size of the blossom, is that the size I want? Because right now you could cut the excess wire off. I think I'm going to go a little bit further and then, then make a cut. So a little bit, a few more beads here. I am using the same size bead all the way down. You could add bigger beads, but they're going to add a bigger gap between each coil. And then you could add smaller beads up to you. Okay, so we're down to this part here. And this is where I tend to go a little smaller. So now I've got that, that bell or cup of the flower just about where I want to. I want to, see there's a gap here. And I'm going to put just another couple beads to make it because the coil is going to be off from the circle. I want to try to make the illusion of it being complete. So I'm going to try a couple littler beads. Let's see if I can get them on there. See how they're going to help you get the color, but they're going to help fill in that gap. Can't always get them on there as well. So 
So if it doesn't work, just throw the bead down and get another one. Okay. Here we go. And then to keep them all there on the blossom. See, I kind of want to stop. Maybe one more. I keep butts in my one. A little less of a gap there. So I'm going to use the rest of the flower to hide that gap. You won't even notice. Oh boy, come on now. Somebody cooperate, please. There we go. All right, I got the beads on. They're stuck in there. And now I'm going to snip right there. Come close to that bead and just snip. It's really strong steel. And to keep that on there, this might sound a little bit odd, but what I'm going to do is fire up my glue gun. The reason why I didn't have it going already is because I want it to be just, just not quite warmed up. Just so I can uh, manipulate the glue a little bit. Because I'm going to stick that piece of wire into the glue gun, just get a little bit of glue, which is going to muck up the end of that wire, and it will hold everything in place. So I just wait till it starts warming up. Just enough glue, see? I barely had to let it heat up at all. It acts almost like a bead and it keeps everything on there. And there we have the bell, the cup, to our blossom. So let's fill it. We're going to fill it with the little pretty things that lure the bird. And this is where I came up with some, these are head pins. I have a ball at the end of them, and these are two inch head pins. So I want, oh, five or six of them to go inside the flower. Let's get five or six of them ready. And then you decide what color do I want to go inside my flower. Well, I know that hummingbirds love pink, so let's do some bright pink. These are two millimeter beads. I have a big selection of colors here. I would like to do is um, give you an example here to find the colors that you want. I start out with a bright color to attract and then I'm going to take a lighter pink. Okay. And then I think I want some of this cream color pink. Let's see if we like that because I'm back and forth changing my mind on these. But these little two millimeter beads fit nicely onto the pin. And we need 11 total. So I've got a bright two pinks and then three, six, nine. Now I'm gonna just quickly see if that's what I like for this flower. I think it's gonna be pretty. I guess you could go with any color. You could go with clear, you could go with blues whatever color you like. So I've got one done. Now I'm going to do up six more, just like that. I'm going to line up these six stamens. Now that some of my flowers, I used three, some I used seven. Six seems to be a pretty good number for me. Fit it in there. And I'm going to let these rest in my hand. Let the beads all come down. Make sure they're all down. Okay. You don't really want to go more than 11 beads because you won't give yourself anything to work with in the end. So I'm holding them at their base. See? And now I'm going to start twisting. I'm going to twist all these pieces together. I got to start on it. But I want to use some help here. Get them as tight as I can. They don't all have to line up at the end. I like to get them, see, as tight as I can get them. Okay. Cute little fan, huh? Now what I'm going to do is just bunch them up a little bit. And I'm going to stick stamens together through the hole in the back and I'm going to push them in, nestle them in, see? 
And see how that's sticking out the top there? We already have a hook that we'll need for hooking on the vine. And then I'm gonna get my other tool and I'm going to curl that. Try to curl it towards in instead of out. Just, it's nice and malleable. Way easier to use than the steel. But I'm just gonna curl it in, see? I just want them to stay in place. And if they come out a little bit, that's okay. So, see I have it curled in there. All my beads are staying in place nicely. And now I can just manipulate these just a little bit, as you'd see in a flower. Some are a little longer, some are a little shorter. See? Simple as that. A few other ones I did. Here's in yellow and play around with what's inside the flower. Look at the red one. See, just hooking them up at the top. So, got the blossom. Now I need the vine. I'm gonna use copper wire. This is 20 gauge copper wire. Now I want a lot of it, because I'm gonna curl it up. I'm gonna go at least. This makes it tricksy to use, but I want at least, at least that much. Go your arm's length. That's good. And now I'm going to snip it. Done with you. And you're uncoiling, but I'll tend to you later. Okay, so I'm gonna take the wire and I'm gonna go just, let's see, let's go about a couple feet in, right? And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna put a little, just a crimp to stop the beads. Just not a tight one, but just an angle to stop the beads. And I've got the little beads here. That's going to represent the leaves at the end. I'm going to start with the bigger ones. And I'm just going to string these beads onto this wire. And we'll see how we go. This is a fast job, but I want about a f at least a foot of this wire strung with green beads. So I'm starting with, these are six millimeters right here. And then we're going down to two or four. I want enough to show the vine, give you the image of the vine, and enough of the smaller beads I'll add towards the end to make the leaves. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so I'm going to do some four millimeters now. So you're just starting with the big ones, work your way down. If they do not f go on or fit, like this one, toss it aside and grab another. much strung on so far, okay? And I'm going to try to fill the rest with the littler ones if they will cooperate. We'll see. Oh, I'll stick you over there. with these beads. I think I have enough of them on the wire to do what I need here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take my tool here and we're just going to make a little teeny hook. I'm going to hook this onto the base of the blossom. So I'm going to feed these back down. So here's what I've got. I've got this much left. Put another little bend right there so they don't roll backwards. And I'm going to start making leaves. And to do that, color, did I want to do the yellow instead of the blue? Okay. So I'm going to use this little bit I had here. So I'm going to take the copper wire and push it through. Remember we made two loops? There's one there and we made one with the, with the uh, inside of the flower, the stamens. And now I'm just going to curl it around. Use your tool. And just, this is the copper wire, just so nice. I just want to curl it around so it's going to stay in place on this hook. Good. 
And now here we go. I'm just going to start fashioning leaves. I'm going to come up a little bit. This is random and make a little kink there. Come down a little bit. Think of it as a, as a petal. Make another kink. I'm just going to go up and down, up and down. Let's see how many I can get here. I might be able to get five, but let's try for at least three. Don't worry about how it looks because collectively it's going to look like a blossom with leaves around it. You can think of it like making a star up and back, up and back, up and back. Let's see, can I get another one in there? Scrunch time, folks. Don't panic. I'm starting to go around the base. I'm going to bring the wire up to differentiate the leaves a little better. That's why I call it scrunch. I'm just scrunching it. I'm just pulling this in. There's a leaf there, leave there, leave there. I want you to think that there's a vine here. So now I'm just going to start curling. Very, very simple. And this is why the bigger beads are a little more resistant to the curling, but that's okay because I like the looks of how the vine would get thicker. And then we're going to take See the blossom is still attached. I'm just going to take these leaves that we made, leaves, quote unquote leaves, and I'm just going to bring them down to cup the blossom. And then I spread it out to make it look more like a leaf. The leaves are different shapes, that's good, and different sizes. See how it's starting to, to look a little better, move a little better? I want it to be strong, I want it to hang on its own. I want this just to look like a blossom that a birdie would say, hey. Give me some of that. So here's what we have. Now I'm going to manipulate the vine a little more. I can bring it around a little more. Hmm, interesting, huh? Is what I wanted? Well, it's close. This is what I want. I want the bird to want to come up to this blossom. Now, see, it doesn't all that scrunching in it. They're all going to turn out different. I love that. I mean, there we go. That's what it looks like right now. How are we going to get the bird attached? That's where this comes in. I've got this much left. And what I want is the flower to hang one way and the bird to hang off the other end. So I'm going to take a chopstick. Now I used a crochet hook, but it wasn't long enough. But I want something a little on the thinner. Uh, pencil's a little bit too thick. So I'm just going to take my wire, I'm right up next to the bead, and I'm just going to start curling it. So we're left with this. A little more manipulation. I want the bird to be on one side. I want the flower to be on the other. I want this a little more elongated. So I'm just pulling it out a little bit. A little more. Okay, and now I'm going to hang my bird. Which bird wants to get hung up here? Let's go with you. You're very pretty. Okay, so I'm going to do is take this wire here. And do a little bit of it. And I'm just going to go towards the back end of the bird. I want the bird to be angled up. You could hang them different ways, but I want this one to be coming towards the blossom. So I'm just going to go through one of the gaps here. Oh, very close. Okay, that is good. Got it, got it, got it. Now I'm going to need one of my tools. Ooh, just slipped out. There we go. See? I'm just going to hook up into that birdie. Get my tool. And I'm just going to make a nice little hide spot there. That hold, holds him in place. And then I'm going to wind this around a little bit just so it looks a little better coming into his back. Now 
now we have our birdie and our flower. Now, sure so that way you can really play around with the wire now. There's our blossom. Birdie, the blossom's over here. So I'm going to manipulate the wire. Okay, this is looking better. And you'd hang him coming up. What's really neat about this is now you get the motion. So if he's hanging or swinging, you're going to see the bird coming towards the blossom. Hang you up just a little bit more. Okay. You got an arch. You can hang it closer. Like if you, the further up you go, the closer the bird comes to the flower. And then just keep angling until you get the angle you like. I like that one. Anyways, Blossom, Birdie, both ready. Beautiful. Thanks for watching. See you again. If you enjoyed this video, here's another you may like. And here's a playlist of other projects that you might enjoy 